एवरी वन वेलकम बैक विद एन अदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फॉर गीक चैनल दिस इज शुभम भारद्वाज एंड इट इज क्वाइट क्लियर फ्रॉम द थमनेल दैट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अ टॉपिक हाउ टू डायनेमिकली क्रिएट अ रिकॉर्ड लिंक इन सेल्स फोर्स फ्लो नाउ वॉट आई मीन बाई डायनेमिकली क्रिएट अ रिकॉर्ड लिंक Let's say you created a record in Salesforce Flow, right? Now you want to display or to use that particular link into the email, so that user click on to that link and directly navigate to that particular record. So how to complete that scenario or how to achieve this functionality in Salesforce Flow? We are going to discuss in today's video. Now before moving forward to the video, I have an exciting news for you. If you are a beginner in Salesforce Flow or you are an intermediate, right, and want to master Salesforce Flow. we launched our salesforce course so if you want to try it out check out the link in the description box and and learn a lot of things about this course right so now without any delay let's move to the today's topic that is how to create a record link in salesforce flow so in this tutorial we are going to build a very simple screen flow uh, where i am going to take the input from the user let's say first name and last name and i am going to create a contact now with the help of that create contact uh, element right i am going to fetch the id and with that id i am going to build a formula and use that formula as a record link in salesforce flow first of all we need to create a salesforce screen flow so let's go to the setup and as you know that now we can create salesforce flows from this create button so i am going to click on it and click on flow now you need to click on screen flow and click on create now as it is a screen flow first of all we are going to build a screen where we can get the inputs from the user so let's say screen and here i am going to use two text component which is first name and last name let's provide the label and all so first name and last name for the second text element now we also need to provide the screen info so let's say contact info and simply click on done if you also want to change the button of the footers right you want to use a custom label over there click on the footer and here click on configure footer use a custom label let's say create contact and then you can see the label of the button is now changed from finish to create contact if you want to hide previous and pause button you can simply click on hide previous and hide pause click on done now after getting the information from the user i am going to create a contact record so for that i we need to use create record element select it and now in the label type create contact now as we are going to create a single contact so select sync one over there and as we have two different text components right first name and last name so we are going to use the second option use separate resources and literal values now we need to provide the object like which record ob, uh, which record you are going to create so we are going to create a contact record so type contact over there and now here we need to map our fields so we have two fields only first name and last name here i am going to add both the fields and now we need to map the values from screen components to these fields let's say first name and then last name so the mapping is done now here is one important part that we need to do whenever you are going to create a record you need to select this manually assign variables if you want to store the id of the newly created record for example in this use case you are going to use the contact id to the formula that we are going to build dynamic record link right we are going to use that particular con id over there now in this now in order to use this what you need to do you need to create on you need to create a uh, text variable over there click on new resource then variable in the api name you need to type let's say con id and in the data type it's going to be a text and then click on done so now whenever the record is created right record id will be stored in the con id in this case contact record we are going to create so contact id will be stored in this con id if i click on done so this is the 
basic flow we have now we are going to create a record link and that's the motive of this video to understand how we can dynamically create a record link so here I'm going to use another screen to display the link and in order to display the link what you need to do you need to use a display text so when you are going to use a display text whenever you need to show something to the user or any message you want to display you always going to use display text over there in the API name let's say provide record link to yeah and then in this body you are going to type the message let's say record link so now here you are going to use a formula that we are going to build and in this I'm going to click on new resource then formula API name let's say record link data type as text and in this I'm going to paste a formula that I already built it right here I'm going to paste it so now many of you have a question like okay Shubham you paste this formula but how you build this so here is your task and I want you guys do a little bit research about it in this formula I am using a left function I am using a find function and I am using a global API variables that we have in our Salesforce flow so and then we are simply using a cone ID which I told you that in cone ID we are storing the contact ID that we have now here is your task google it like what is the use of left function what is the use of find function right and what is the use of API global variables that we have well once you've done all the research I'm damn sure you are able to crack this formula but let's say if you are unable to crack the formula let me know into the comment box I will create a separate video in order to just explain the formula that I used in this video so for now I am going to click on done right and now I am going to click on done again all right this says this API name is already used for another element so let's say I am going to provide here a record link message correct and here we also need to provide the screen properties so let's say contact record link now let's click on done and here I am going to save this flow let's say create quick contact save this flow and here I am going to click on debug so now I am going to click on run let's say I am going to provide here Tom Hardy as the last name and click on create contact so now here you can see you will automatically get the record link here record link but you probably notice that it is it is not clickable right and if you also check the debug logs you will see here first of all we provide Tom and Hardy into the first name and last name then under cone ID ID will be automatically stored because we use the manually assign variable option in our create record element I hope this is clear to you but the problem with this that this link is not clickable now how to resolve this very simple we need to go back to our flow open the screen where we are displaying the record link open the display text body and onto this body you need to select that that you need to select that record link right and then you need to select this link button over there and in link URL you will need to simply paste the same record link hit save and click on done save your flow again and click on debug again so let's say I'm going to click on run again and type here Shubham Bharadwaj create contact so now you can see the link is clickable and when I clicked on the link I directly navigated to that particular record you can see the contact is created and the name you can see Shubham Bharadwaj is over there but now you have one more question like okay Shubham right now I am displaying it as a link 
but let's say I want to display the first name and last name of the particular text and under that I want to make that first name and last name as clickable so I am like okay definitely we can do that again we need to go back to the flow open our screen and on to this display text we need to remove this record link and here we need to use our screen components that we have so let's say first name and then last name so as you can see first name and last name will be available over there now I am going to select both the text and again click on to this link button and paste here a record link let's click on save and click on done again let's save it and click on debug again I'm going to click on run and let's say this time I'm going to provide the first name and last name again let's say Tulika Khanduri now let's click on create contact so this time you can see record link and that is Tulika Khanduri and if you click on this Tulika Khanduri record right you will be redirected to the same record that you have that you create that you just created into your salesforce org so here you can see contact Tulika Khanduri is created and that's how you can use a formula in order to build dynamic record link in salesforce flow now let's say you want the same functionality in record triggered flow right and probably you know that uh, probably you know that record in record triggered flow everything is stored into the record global variable so instead of this cone id right let me open the formula instead of this cone id here you need to add record id and that's the only thing you need to do like record global variable dot id this will work in record triggered flow as well I hope this video is helpful for you and if it is helpful please hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more such videos and don't forget to check our flow course if you are a beginner and intermediate this flow course is going to be the single resource that you want to learn everything about flows so for now that's it thank you so much for watching this video